Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're going to be taking another car down our off-road rally course. <laughs> Now, if you haven't seen the previous episode, what we're attempting here is to find out what the fastest S1 class car is down a custom built rally course. The first part of the rally course is tarmac, the rest of the course is all on dirt. So each car will be upgraded to the top of S1 class, keeping their stock engine unless they need the extra PI. And they will also be keeping their stock drivetrain, which means all-wheel drive cars will remain all-wheel drive, front-wheel drive cars will remain front-wheel drive, and rear-wheel drive cars will remain rear-wheel drive. Now, some of you might be saying, why are you pitching all-wheel drive cars against two-wheel drive cars? Well, the simple answer is, that's what they do in real life. So that is what we're going to be doing on our series. So today, I have an interesting pick we have the Lamborghini LM002. It's a car that I have not really had much experience with. I've never driven one of these in a Forza game before. I've never had the chance to upgrade them. I don't even know how well this thing drives, but it's all wheel drive. It's got a lot of horsepower. It looks cool. And it's something that I wanted to try. Now, so far we've had the Audi Quattro and the Focus RS. The Focus RS being our fastest car so far. So let's see what we can do with the Lamborghini here. We're going to be keeping the stock engine unless we need the PI. This thing starts off in C class and I think it is going to need um, the engine upgrade. We'll leave the stock one for now and we will leave the drivetrain for now. Aspiration, we can go ahead and stick on some twin turbos or a supercharger. I'm going to put on the turbos and see if that helps us with our PI. As far as um, bumpers are concerned, we can go ahead and fit this off-road bumper, which does add quite a bit of weight, actually. It adds, actually, it's not too bad. It only adds four pounds, um, which does also give us a little bit more downforce. Now, this thing is quite heavy, actually. Um, so I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to do to this car, but let's see. Now, all the vehicles are going to be fitted with rally tyres, unless they cannot be fitted with rally tyres. For example, the Lamborghini here only has the off-road race tyre compound. So we'll be putting the off-road race tyre compound on. We'll go for a full tyre width on here. I'm going to leave the stock wheels on this car. We'll go ahead and put in all the best clutch and drivetrain. I'm going to put in the race transmission. I'm not going to be going for the 10 speed simply because there is just too much going on. I really don't like the 10 speed. You're constantly changing up and down the gears and it's just very annoying. So we're going to be going with six or seven speed gearboxes. And we're going to put the rally diff in the car as well, unless it can only have the off-road diff. Suspension, we're also going to be putting all the cars on off-road suspension. We'll go for full roll bars as well. Now, we're going to put in as much weight reduction as PI allows us for the cars. The Lamborghini here loses almost a ton in weight, which is quite a lot. Um, but we're still only up to B class, which is very good indeed, actually. So I don't think we're going to get to the top of S1 class with the stock engine. I'm going to go ahead and put in all the best upgrades here and we'll see. I'm not even sure if it's going to make it to the top of A class with the stock engine, to be honest with you. And with the stock engine, we get just halfway through A-Class. We do have 700 horsepower, 532 pound-feet of torque. The thing weighs over just over two and a half tons, 
which is kind of to be expected. I mean, look at it. It's basically like a military off-roady kind of Jeep thing. It's almost like a mini Hummer. Um, but we're going to go ahead and put in um, one of the other engines. We've got the 6.7 litre V8 diesel turbo. We've got the 7.2 litre uh, V8, the racing V8. And we also have the 7.4 litre V8 twin turbo which I have not seen in many of the cars so that's unique um, but I'm going to go with the racing V8 the kind of vehicle it is I think that will be perfect for this car and hopefully we should be able to get this to the top of S1 class we might have to go ahead and uh, slap some turbos on or something to get this thing up PI a little bit there we go, we're up to 1,200 horsepower if we go ahead and upgrade the turbos. We've still not quite got enough PI. Um, what happens if we put in the 7.4 litre? That might be what we have to do here. And we cannot actually upgrade the 7.4 litre at all, but it gets us as close as possible to the top of S1 class uh, 872. That's as high as I can really get this vehicle. We have 1,750 horsepower, 1,400 pound-feet of torque. The thing weighs just over 2.5 tonnes, and it has a 7.4-litre V8 in. So I think this thing's going to perform pretty well. It's also got the off-road tyre compound, which is a little bit more grippy than the rally ones. So we'll see what we can do with this thing. I'm going to go ahead and tune it give it some paint and then we'll take it, do our three laps and see how we do. All right, here we are with the Red Bull Racing Lamborghini LM002. Let's see what we can do with this thing. I think there's gonna be a lot of throttle control involved with this run, but we'll have to find out. On the launch actually is not too bad. The first part here is on tarmac. Of course those off-road tyre compounds don't have a lot of grip on the tarmac. But they have a lot of grip on the dirt. We overshot that corner a little bit there. Onto the second water splash. Slowing it down for that corner. Deceptively very slow corner that. Of course, the Lamborghini is an off-road vehicle, so in the second water splash there, normal cars get slowed down quite a lot. The weight and ground clearance of this thing allows it to sail through there. It's a little bit floaty, um, as you might be able to see through the corners there. When it gets on a little bump, it sort of floats around a little bit, makes it a little bit uneasy, a little bit difficult to control. Onto the second long straight, usually quite bumpy through here. The Lamborghini soaks that up quite nicely though, in fact. On into the hairpin corner, we'll go for a third gear through here. We've got the power to get out of that in third gear. Onto the other little straight, another little bump halfway down there. But the Lamborghini is soaking it up very, very well in fact. Of course, it is an off-road vehicle, so to be expected. Then into my favourite section of the track, up the hill, and then brake hard into this corner. Then into the last couple of corners. Slowing it down for the deceptively slow right-hander there. That is a horrible, horrible corner, which I have not got right. I've also completely messed up the gear changes in there. I should mention I am running this with a manual um, layout, so this is not the automatic gearbox, I am controlling the gears. On into the final straight and across the line. Not a bad time there, I will say, 2 minutes 7 seconds 661, with a little bit of fine tuning and... Um, careful driving I think we have got ourselves a new podium vehicle here but I am not going to speak too soon let's do another run and see how much we can improve okay our second run in the LM002 let's see how we do it 
does struggle for grip off the line a little bit there with the amount of power and also those off-road tyres. But the second we get onto dirt, this thing is in its own element. Breaking hard for this corner here. I have overshot it once again. So we're going to have to remember to slow down a lot earlier in our next run. Onto the second water splash and slow it down again. Overshot that corner as well a little bit there. This thing has a lot of weight and not very good brakes. Unlike the Focus we had in the last episode, that thing had fantastic brakes compared to the Audi Quattro. This thing is similar to the Audi, although with its added weight, this thing is considerably worse, I would say. There we go. Onto the second long straight here. This is where it gets bumpy, but the Lamborghini soaks it up. Don't need to brake as hard for that corner because we're not getting out of control into the hairpin there. A little bit of handbrake action to help us get around the corner. There we go. Out of the corner in third gear. Onto the second little straight area there. And then into the two tight right-handers into my favourite section up the hill here. This is where some of the other cars struggle a little bit up the hill, but the Lamborghini with all that power and grip does not have an issue there. I'm going to knock it down to fourth for that section. And then slowing it way down for this corner here. Nicely through there actually, it was quite brave. Could have been a little bit faster possibly, slowing it down for the left hander there. A little bit of oversteer action. And then oversteer through the next corner as well. A little bit of twitch on the exit there. That will have cost me a bit of time. But then we are down the hill and to the finish line. We'll have to wait and see whether that was faster. It was a 2 minutes 6 seconds point eight six, Still just shy of the focus's time. So with one more run, a little bit more fine tuning. Hopefully we can knock off another second and beat the focus okay so on to our third run in the lamborghini let's see if we can shave that last second off and put this thing on the top of our podium so into the first straight section i'm going to slow it down quite a lot earlier that was absolutely perfect through there that is what we are looking for. A little bit of throttle control through that corner. Into the second water splash. Keeping it tight in there. A little bit wide on the exit. Into the third water splash there. Slowing it down for the left hander. And then we're into the tight right hander. Slowed down a little bit too much there. A little bit of understeer action possibly on the exit. Then up the hill we go. A little bit of a drift round there. That's what we like to see. It's a very nice corner that. You can get some good slides going. Onto the straight section. The Lamborghini soaking up the bumps well. Could have been a little bit braver through there possibly. But then we are on to the hairpin. Going to leave it in third gear for that. And the Lamborghini pulls us out the corner beautifully there soaking up the bumps once again into the two tight right handers braking early for those not too bad not too bad fourth gear up the hill maybe a little bit high but not too bad and then braking hard for our left hander there it's quite a fast left hander but if you don't slow it down quick enough then you can get yourself into all sorts of trouble then we're on to this horrible corner. I was braver than I was in the last run, so hopefully that's paid off. We'll have to wait and see. Slowing it down for the left corner there. A little bit of oversteer action once again. We didn't get a twitch this time. That's nice. On to the last corner, and then we are down the hill to the finish line. I think this is going to be another podium finish. There we go, 2 minutes, 5 seconds, 0.159. That will put the Lamborghini LM002 in first place. And there we have it, the Lamborghini LM002, a 2 minute, 
0.05.159, just over a second faster than the Focus RS, and almost 10 seconds faster than the Audi Quattro Sport. The Lamborghini, I have to say, I have fallen in love with this thing. It looks really cool. It sounds fantastic with that racing V8 in there. And with this Red Bull livery, I think it looks beautiful. And it is now our fastest rally car on the rally track. But stay tuned to the channel for loads more rally car builds coming up in the next couple of weeks. If you're enjoying this series, then please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new. We're going to be building lots more rally cars in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. But thanks all so much for watching this episode. I hope you did enjoy and I will see you in the next video.